Good day, guys. Bing here. So today, uh, we are going to try this one. Okay. So um, so this will be the result. Okay. So let's uh close this. So first, um, we're going to create a pattern-based family. Okay. So and so this pattern. So apparently, it's a rectangle. Okay, so now we have this. Um, so first, um, we're going to just create so you can see that's in the middle. Go up. So um, and let's just offset. So um, we're going to use point, draw on word plan, set word plan, pick horizontal word plan, and just place point. So we're going to place four points. So one on each. Okay, so now you can select oh not this this one. So the points we just placed. Oops, sorry. <laughs> ah, do it again. Move your cursor to the middle of this so you can see that's the point, not these um points with uh word plans. So four points, so we can create a parameter. I'll just call it offset and instance parameter. Okay, so um, and then let's go to family types. So let's give them, let's give this a, a number. So for example, one meter. Okay. So next, um, we're going to um, control these offsets using some um, the dimension of these dimension of these uh, grids. So let's do this. Um, we're going to create a to a reporting parameter. So first when you set word plan onto the reference line in a DI dimension, pick the point. Okay, so that's one. And uh, another one on this side. So we need to set word plan first onto this reference line and DI dimension. So that's another one. So select this and create a reporting parameter. I'll call it RP1 instance reporting and select this dimension and create another one. So reporting two instance reporting and OK. So now we have these two. So we're going to use um, um, a formula to 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 calculate the offset. So we're going to use an uh, average of these two. And if you want to, you can also add another parameter. So let's just quickly do it. I'll just call it maybe n uh, use a number. OK, so and it will be a uh, maybe um, type parameter. So this oh maybe maybe change this one cut change the group to um, dimension as well. So it's it's easier to you know when when you try to control them uh, dimension. OK, yeah, all good. So for example, we can just type in like a zero point uh, uh, seven, for example, and then give um, the formula to the offset. We're going to use bracket reporting one plus uh, plus uh, reporting two bracket divided by two and time divided by two times uh, n. So this will so uh, okay. So now it means uh, the offset will be average of this. Uh, to reporting parameter and times uh, seven. So this seven, oh sorry, times zero point seven. So this zero point seven can be changed uh, later on. Okay. So okay. So now we have these points. Uh, we can um, uh, let me think. Okay. So we can uh, we can create some uh, reference lines. Okay. So. Just select two of them, create a reference line, and another one. Okay, and then we can just place a midpoint onto that, or use draw on face and place on midpoint. You can also type SM to snap midpoint. Okay, so now we have these two midpoints. We can select these two and create another reference line, make it, um, yep, create a sp another spline through point and make it reference line. And place another point and onto this midpoint. So now this we can connect this midpoint with all the all the the other 
uh, the point one and one two three four okay so um, okay so now let's make them reference lines okay so and then oh, we need another one here so let's repeat just create another one reference line spline through points reference line place a point draw on face midpoint and then select these two and create another one so reference line so now these are the um the the skeleton okay the st structure of this and then that, and also um the they because they are reference line they are invisible we need to place place some you know all these uh uh sweep let's call it sweeps or tubes onto them so let's create a new parameter oh sorry new family it will be a generic model adaptive in this adaptive family we're going to place two points so anywhere just one two and make them uh, ref uh sorry adaptive points and spline through points make a reference line so now place a point you draw on face place onto this reference line and then we can just place a, a reference circle draw on word plan set word plan pick this point and then place a circle on here so i just roughly maybe did something like this um if you wanted to you can add a, a, a dimension and then create a parameter so you can control it um, okay so copy and uh, pick new host and then we can create a pro uh, a, a form using only use uh, using these two profile and then we can just drag this point to the end so um, this is it now we can load this one into the this and then we can quickly place it we can type se to snap endpoint and type se again and the tab to snap the other end okay so so this is very so easiest way to place se se snap and, uh, and the tab so now we have all the Oh, and also yeah so we need more component se se tab se se tab se se tab se se tab okay so now we have this um frame okay so and then we need these uh um, what do we call board those balls <laughs> those uh, spheres um we can do the same thing so we can create a family ad adaptive uh, family and then we're going to place a point so anywhere okay and then just uh, make it an adaptive point and then we can place a reference and uh, center and arc draw on word plan set word plan pick let's pick a re uh, word plan and then we can just create something like something like this okay so half circle and a, and a, a line to close it and then another line so just need to uh, be in the middle you can draw it here or here doesn't matter so let's just draw it here so now one two three three reference line we can create a sphere okay so if you wanted to you can also add a, a parameter so so you can just you know select this and the, for example place a dimension so you can create let's call it R type okay so you can control it if you want if you need to so um now let's load this one into the um i think which one uh let me think which one this one or oh, not this one this one so which is our family five let's load this one into family five and then we just need to so before we place because we have all these uh, adaptive family there so that's all form so solid so and um, it's a little bit hard to you know place directly onto the points so we are going to select these points one two three four and also there's another point here we are going to place it place that uh, those uh, spheres on so type hi so now so it's easier so we can just create component 
So directly, so just make sure it's uh, pa placed on face, and then just place onto these points. Okay, so and now let's hatch all. So uh, let's have a test. So you can select this grid, grid um, tile pattern grids. So you can change the change the size. Okay, so so that's it. Okay, so it works, right? So now let's have a look. So uh, we need to create a new conceptual mass. So in this conceptual mass, we're going first. We're going to place a, 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 a rectangular shape on the plan view. Oh, sorry, plan uh, reference plan. So on a level. So it's a horizontal flat surface. Let's create a form. Or oh, actually, hang on. Maybe we can just create a solid instead because once we create a solid, we have you know both horizontal face and vertical face, right? So let's select this horizontal face, create a divided surface, and then uh, we need to go. Sorry, we need to go back to family five, load this one into this conceptual mass, and then select it, and then go change this pattern to to the one we just did. And this is it. So it works on flat surface. So now let's try vertical. So if I go create uh, divided surface again, and try this family. So just yeah, we just we need to make sure it works on you know all you know different um, uh, orientation, right? So um, yeah, it works. So. And also, let's uh, have another try. So at this time, you splice through points, uh, place one. Oh, sorry, what's going on here? Yeah, oh, it's too slow. Uh, let Let me just set one plan onto the level, and place a reference um, line one, two, three, three uh, splice through points. And okay, yeah, good. I'll just copy this one, one, two, three, three spline through points, make it reference, uh, make it a uh, form, and then so it's an uh, organic shape. Oh, anyway, so that's fine. So divide your surface again. So this time I'll reduce the number because um, for these they are fine because all the shape, uh, uh, all, all the size are exactly the same. So it won't take very uh, a long time to calculate, but for this, because each of these pattern um, they are different, so it it will take uh, longer to you know to calculate. Okay, so um, Revis uh, working on this, so let's just wait. Okay, so yeah, you, yeah. Apparently, you can see it's not perfect. It's not perfect, especially at the top, because uh, yeah, it's very hard to you know make it work perfectly. Um, yeah, but at least like the orientation is correct. So if if I mean if you uh, let me just control Z, if the slope is you know less. Maybe just something like this. It, it will work um, okay, I think. Yeah, but still take the same amount of, of, of time to to generate this. It's only twenty five. So imagine if you create a very large size. So it will take quite a long time. So, yep, not too bad. Um, not too bad. So anyway, so that that's it. Um, um, yeah. So yeah, if if you um, I think uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. I think. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.